Well, all right, guys, that was an amazing arrival of the Grand Classico. Welcome, boys, and guys, welcome back to the of this season, episode number six, I believe. I'm on a wishing to get up to the top decks. We are about to, we should be arriving into Nassau, Bahamas, and uh, we, are, we should be joined today by the Carnival Liberty. If you guys know, Carnival Liberty is homeported um, Bohemian ship in uh, Canaveral. This is a uh, Carnival's uh, cruise line's uh, Bahamas ship. So we have a uh, World Cruise Mariner Caesars of Bahamas. And uh, as right now, we have the NCL Sun. And I think we have in the wintertime, we have the Disney Dream or Wonder doing the Bohemian runs. But uh, so hopefully I didn't miss it, but uh, let's go see Thailand to Nassau, Bahamas. Well guys, um, that was an amazing rival of the Carnival Liberty and there's a bonus ship coming in so I'm gonna actually go get some water and some uh, something to drink at the wind jammer. My throat's a little dry. Um, but um, well, yeah, we're gonna get the uh, uh, Bahama Paradise ship. So if you guys don't know, Bahama Paradise started off doing Grand Bahama runs, which if you guys know where Grand Bahamas is, that was very affected by the hurricane. And it's not so much here in Nassau. So basically they're sending one of their ships here to Nassau. So they have two ships doing two night cruises. So basically if you're ever in the port of West Palm Beach, you're gonna see a cruise ship. It's gonna either be a formal carnival ship or a uh, former Costa ship, but they're all carnival cruise line ships. But um, you're gonna see that ship coming in in three, two, one. Again, that ship is home ported in West Palm Beach and offers two night bohemian runs to here in Nassau and her sister's ship, the Grand Celebration, I believe is the name of the ship, does um, three night, two night cruises actually to Grand Bahamas. Now, um, again, I was expecting one ship, but uh, it's pretty cool to go see her because again, she was redeployed to uh, Nassau after the uh, hurricane uh, this year. So uh, anyway, we're gonna get the flow rider now. You're gonna see that in a few seconds. So um, without further ado, let's go do the uh, flow rider. Well, guys, um, we're in the middle of the flow rider session, and it's the Pierce Carnival, uh, Carnival Ecstasy class. I think it's a fantasy class, actually. It's arriving to the port. It's uh, really weird. I think it may be a medical evac or something because it's uh, looks like uh, 10 o'clock, so it's kind of late. But um, I'm recording a time lapse of the ship coming in, so you're going to see that right now.
guys, that was an amazing arrival of the uh, Carnivalization. Now, she does need a little paperwork on her, but other than that, it's good to see her. Um, she's also homeported in Port Canaveral, which is uh, basically makes us three homeported Canaveral ships here in Nassau today. Uh, as of right now, there's also another ship coming down. It is the, I believe, the Celebrity Equinox, if I'm right. Um, but uh, anyway, it's a celebrity ship with a blue hull, and I'm uh, very excited to go see this. So um, let's see the time. Let's start the time lapse of the Celebrity Equinox, I believe. play some mini golf later today we have uh, some food plans um, and we're gonna go back on the floor under at 2 o'clock because it is a 2 to 4 o'clock session today I know you guys really don't care about the floor rider but uh but I have some other activities planned for you guys with this mini golf you know we did that on the first day but it was at dark I have to go to also I have to go to the cabin and charge up my camera because this DSLR I mean uh, point and shoot is almost dead so um yeah let's go uh, let's go get some lunch first All right, guys, we are here at uh, the Windjammer. You know, I just saw I got some of that pasta. Also, I got the um, cheeseburger. We got two patties, some french fries, and um, yeah, some to drink. I got the lemonade. But yeah, some great options here at the Windjammer today. I would highly recommend it for lunch because it's one of the only places open on a port day. Yeah, I'll probably play some mini golf after this, so I uh, must play some mini golf. Well, right, guys, that was a uh, pretty good lunch at the Windjammer. Now, I, my thoughts about that mango dream cake, it was Okay, I think the mango flavor was a little intense, but other than that, it was good. Um, now, I said I was gonna go play mini golf, but it's almost one o'clock, and um, that means I have two hours, so an hour to the Florida, so that ain't gonna happen, but um, I'm gonna get the Florida, like I said, at uh, two to four, and then we're gonna go do some laser tag and stuff. Hopefully, I'm able to get the cameras on. I heard you're allowed to take cameras on, so okay, I'm very excited, so um, yeah, without further ado, but in the meantime, guys, I'm trying to go ahead to the helipad, guys, so I can get you a view of all the ships that we can see from the helipad. And, um, yeah, so it should be very fun. Now, I'm gonna show you this little uh, VIP, it's got a VIP entrance, so pretty cool. So for this hack, you have to go to the Star Lounge. You go right through here, so you have to cut through here. Just keep going. Go right here to the doors. It doesn't, it looks like, uh, Mark, but they're not. You just open it up, and you go through this door right here, and you go this way, guys. And we are almost to the helipad. See how easy that was? We bypassed walking up one deck, and oh my goodness, guys, it is a busy day here in Nassau. But it is busy on these roads here. Last when we were here in um, October on the Navigator, it was empty. But we have a, it's a five ship day here in Nassau, so I'll take a look next time. Planet Z. The uh, helipad. We are here about to eat dinner. This is uh, showtime, guys. 